Hey there, Comets. I'm back with another story. Today's book is The Minosaur by Sudipta Barden Qualen. One morning before Mrs. Raptor rang the bell, the dinosaurs were playing in the schoolyard. All of a sudden, they heard a roar. Mine, mine, mine! Oh, no, muttered Stegosaurus. Here comes the Minosaur. He snatched the jump rope and the ball. He threw the cars against the wall, and then he roared to one and all, Mine! 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 Iguanodon said, That's not fair, Triceratops said. You should share. But the Minosaur yelled, I don't care! They're mine! 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 Right then, the bell rang. The Minosaur hugged the toys and sighed, Oh, mine! You're late, Mrs. Raptor said when the Minosaur finally came to class. Now you'll have to paint your project during snack time. By the time the Minosaur finished, snack time was in full swing. The Minosaur rushed on ahead. He snatched the scones and strudel bread. He bit the butter tarts and said, They're mine, mine, mine! That's our food, yelled Apatosaur. No, it's not, cried Minosaur. And soon there was a tug of war, and he wailed, Mine! The rest of the class can go out to recess, Mrs. Raptor said. You will stay in here until you clean up this mess. The Minosaur scowled and bit into a scone. At least the food's all mine, he grumbled. But the feast wasn't as much fun, and it was made for one. At recess, the Minosaur saw the other dinos, having fun building a tower. His arms were flailing all around. The tower tumbled to the ground. He grabbed a bunch of blocks and frowned. They're mine, mine, mine! How could you, yelled Iguanodon. It's wrecked now, said Pteranodon. The Minosaur said, oh, come on. These blocks are mine. The dinos rolled their eyes. Finally, Tricer Triceratops said, let's go, guys. I don't need them anyway, said the Minosaur. I'll build a better tower by myself. Look at this, he shouted. The biggest tower ever. But there was no dino around to hear. At the other end of the yard, the rest of the dinos were laughing and playing. They didn't seem to miss the Minosaur at all. The Minosaur began to shake. There's nothing left for me to take. No toys at all, for goodness sake. They don't care. The Minosaur wanted to laugh and play too, so he gathered up all the stuff that was his and headed toward the dinos. The Minosaur asked, want some snacks? The other dinos turned their backs. I've brought the blocks for us to stack. Come on, let's share. The Minosaur tried saying, please, I've brought some toys. I'll give you these. The dinos stared down at their knees. They just didn't care. Okay, then, said the Minosaur. He put all the stuff down. You guys should play. The dinos looked at each other. Isn't this your stuff? asked the Stegosaurus. The Minosaur shook his head. I shouldn't have taken it. The Minosaur was still walking when he heard the dino shout, wait! Okay. 
They said, we want to play with you, said Minosaur. You really do? The dinos nodded. Yes, it's true. If you'll share, it's fine. The Minosaur yelled, it's a deal. I have the thing I want, he squealed. You don't know how this makes me feel. My friends, you're mine. Mine, mine, mine. I hope you enjoyed the Minosaur. Keep reading comments. I'll see you again for another story time. And know that I miss you. Bye.